Hi guys, this is Brian with BMag Art. Today I'll be trying out 2020 ZBrush on my 2020 iPad Pro 12.9 inch using AstroPad Studio. Let's give it a test drive. Okay, so I'm all set up and ready to go. I have my MacBook Pro and my iPad Pro synced up via AstroPad Studio and the same Wi-Fi connection. So what AstroPad Studio allows me to do is it allows me to mirror the screen of my MacBook Pro onto the iPad Pro and I will be able to use the touch and pressure sensitivity functionality of the iPad Pro to sculpt on ZBrush. So my main goal of this video is to primarily sculpt and see how well sculpting is on ZBrush using the iPad Pro and AstroPad Studio. Uh, I'll go through the specifics with, you know, custom customization, interface, hotkeys, uh, using AstroPad Studio, maybe in another video, but for now I just want to test drive and let you guys know how well sculpting is on the uh, AstroPad Studio and iPad Pro via ZBrush. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in just a default subtool of ZBrush, and we'll uh, sculpt away and see how everything uh, goes and finalizes after that.
Okay, so I have to say with the help of Astro Pad Studio, Zebras does perform as good as it does on any Cintiq. As you've seen through my demo, I've gone through certain sculpting tools like the clay build, the move tool, dam standard, uh, as well as some masking features on the model and there was no real lag or no real freezing issues uh, whatsoever. So I can highly say that definitely went for us uh, sculptors. Uh, I also did bring in a few of my heavy models, uh, unfortunately that I didn't add to this video. And I can gladly say that I didn't come across any issues as well. Uh, guys, if you're on the market for a drawing tablet, display tablet for ZBrush use, I would uh, definitely add the iPad Pro in the running for this. Uh, if you're not sure, fortunately AstroPad and ZBrush do provide trial versions for you to give it a test run. Um, but again, I mean, take it from me, it's definitely when uh, there's a real similarity between um, the Cintiq. As you see, I have one behind me and it comes close. Uh, the real time on the fly sculpt is there. You don't sense any real lag whatsoever, even though you're on a Wi Fi connection. Um, yeah, so give it a thought and give it a try. Uh, again, thanks for watching this video, and I hope this helps you with your buying decisions, guys.